Welcome back. If you're not sweating already, this next story will have you thinking about it. This there's a new study out. It shows chronic heat stress. It really has damaging effects on our bodies and down to the molecular level. It reveals how extreme temperatures can have long lasting negative impacts on all of us and more than just cardiovascular health. We hear about that all the time. Well, all of us in AZ, you know, misery loves company. So here we go. 12 News journalist Jen Wall joins us live in Phoenix this morning. Jen, what areas of the body are we talking about? Be more specific here. What do we need to be worried about? Yeah, so it's nice and cool and comfortable outside right now, but we know those hot afternoon temperatures are right around the corner, especially cranking up even more as we get deeper into summer. And this new research, it's really interesting. It's showing something different for the first time, that this excessive heat, our prolonged exposure to it, gets all the way down to our molecular level. It affects our gut, our liver, and our brain. And this is a lot different than researchers had previously seen. So the research published out of UC Irvine showing how chronic exposure to heat can result in an imbalance of the gut microbiome. Dr. Michael Hartman researches the effects of heat on our bodies here in the valley and he says the imbalance signals the liver to release an inflammatory protein and that then signals the brain which changes neuroplasticity or how we learn and process new information. Now typically we think of heat affecting mainly our cardiovascular health but this new research adds how the long lasting effects of heat on our bodies can change the balance of bacteria, fungi, and viruses in our gut too. And as we're exposed to higher temperatures over time, the result is an imbalance with more bad bacteria and less good bacteria. That then affects how we digest, how we process nutrients in our diet, and it's all connected to the brain, then affecting how we store and process information. So Dr. Hartman says they noticed the changes as low as 85 degrees when that temperature hits outside. And we know it gets a lot hotter than that in the desert. So this morning he's sharing his top recommendations for which kinds of heat exposure to minimize. So prolonged exposure would be doing you know, activities, strenuous activities, out for a hike, out doing recreational sports, trying to avoid prolonged exposure to the highest part, highest temperatures of the day. But if we have to be outside, making sure that we take advantage of adequate hydration, trying to minimize excessive caffeine, excessive alcohol. Okay, so these tips all to avoid dehydration. And he's not saying don't go outside at all in the summer. Obviously, we have to do that. But if you can kind of plan around those hottest parts of the day, running your errands in the morning or the evening when the temperatures are a bit lower, that can all be really helpful here. Coming up live in about an hour at 530, we are talking more about extreme heat right here in Arizona and how it affects our vulnerable populations. And there are folks out there right Right now, trying to protect them during the summer months. For Number Live in Phoenix, Jen Wall, 12 News, Today in AZ.